Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that on our YouTube channel, Cognizant Technical Assessment Preparation Series is going on. And in this particular video, I will be discussing the previously asked Cloud Fundamental MCQs in Cognizant. So as you all know that Cloud Fundamental MCQs will be asked in cluster 2. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because around 8 to 10 MCQs I will be discussing in this video and they can again be very much beneficial for you. So don't skip any part of this video. And guys, uh, I, we have a dedicated playlist of Cognizant Preparation Series on our YouTube channel wherein regarding every section that is getting asked in the Cognizant exam, we have a video for it. Okay, so we have two coding questions video, two SQL question videos, aptitude questions, Java MCQs, questions and in this I will be discussing the cloud fundamental and in the coming days C hash questions as well as Python MCQ videos also I will be posting in this particular playlist okay so guys make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because once our video is uploaded you will get direct notification for it okay and if you want me that for some company some section videos I should post you can always write in the comment section and also do tell us that when is your cognizant exam scheduled and is there any update from the college that what is the exact date for the exam okay so guys now let's start this video make sure to hit that like button before moving ahead okay so guys the first question is which of the following is cloud platform by Amazon so let's just see one by one so first is Azure so Azure is by Microsoft okay next is AWS so AWS is Amazon Web Services so yes it is by Amazon only so I hope this is clear to you next question is all the cloud computing applications suffer from the inherent dash that is intrinsic in their WAN connectivity now guys see there are a lot of devices connected with each other okay so data packet flows from one router to another router then to the next router so this is how the, uh, the data movement happens even if like if you are uh, uh, doing a whatsapp call you might have noticed that there is a some delay in receiving the voice and transferring the voice so what is that delay what is that inheriting delay so delay is known as latency so the correct answer is all the applications which are connected to internet they will be suffering by default with latency so the latency that is as low as possible so the application is good okay so i hope this is clear to you <clears throat> next is a dash level agreement that is sla is the contract for performance negotiated between you and the service provider so basically they are asking you the full form of sla so sla stands for service level agreement service level agreement so correct answer is service here I hope this question is also clear to you. Next is identify the correct statement about cloud computing. So first of all, cloud computing relies on a set of protocols needed to manage inter-process communication. So this is the correct statement. See, this is the correct statement because whenever a communication is happening, there are set of protocols that need to follow. Next second is platform are used to create more complex software. So I'm not sure whether this is correct or not. So let me just mark it as uh, not sure third one cloud architecture can couple software running on virtualized hardware in multiple locations to provide on-demand service so yes this is also great because it is one of the feature of cloud computing that it helps in increasing or reducing the servers based on the on-demand service so these two equ equations are correct and i am not sure about the second one so correct option will be all the mentioned above because two are correct i am sure about that okay so i hope this question is also clear to you Next is, into which expenditure does cloud computing shift capital expenditure? So answer is operating. Why operating? Now see, when there is there was no cloud computing, so all the server servers were physically operated. Okay, there were a lot of operations people that that used to do these type of uh, task but now since cloud computing is there so all the server handling is done by aws or the cloud provider you just have to manage the server and you just have to uh, buy a service and use it so therefore operating cost has been re re uh, reduced i hope this is clear to you okay so guys before moving ahead i would like you to know that on our top mid page of code bashers we have cognizant preparation material for 2026 batch so guys in this particular material you will find all the previously asked questions for each and every section that is getting asked in the cognizant exam whether it is the coding questions whether it is the sql questions web development questions cloud fundamental mcqs python java c hash mcqs for each and every section 
previously he asked actual questions are there if i will show you the demo of let's suppose the coding pdf you will see we have the actual question screenshot and we have the correct code for it similarly for every question we have performed like this only similarly for sql we have the actual sql query and actual schema and the correct query for it for every question again the same format we have followed similarly there are a lot of cloud fundamental mcqs that were asked previously in cognizant and you can find under this particular pdf so all this is available under this particular preparation material and it is at a very affordable price of rupees 99 if you are interested the links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment so now let's continue with the video <clears throat> which of the following is most important area of concern in cloud computing scalability storage security or all the mentioned above so answer will be security why because see there are a lot of companies let's suppose banks they are preferring if they are they are onboarding to cloud computing if they are onboarding to aws server so what is the most important thing from them for them it is the security so it is the most important area of concern in cloud computing because if they, the cloud computing is not secure then whether your business is scalable they provide you storage that is not any use for it because it is it is lacking security so answer will be security i hope this question is also clear to you next is which of the following is an example of software as a service so what is software as a service software as a service is that a company a has made a software and it has given it to you so a complete software end to end you just have to log in into that software and you have to use for example instagram facebook these are all software as a service so uh, what is the uh, uh, google works uh, workspace dropbox salesforce all the above so answer is all the above these all are just software as a service google drive is just a software as a service you just have to upload the your content it will be stored forever so it is a software as a service i hope this is clear to you <clears throat> next question is dash as a service is a cloud computing infrastructure that creates a development environment upon which application may be built so answer is platform as a service so what platform as a service do it gives you the environment on which your applications can be deployed see software as a service was end-to-end -end software what is platform as a service it means cloud provider will give you a platform on which your services can be deployed okay so it is basically giving you the development environment so answer will be platform as a service infrastructure is nothing so this is not an option okay so yeah so the last question of this particular video is which of the following google products sends you periodic email alerts based on your search term alerts blogger or calendar so calendar is not there blogger is not there so answer is alert so correct answer is alert so I hope all the questions that I've discussed in this video are clear to you. Now I see whenever cloud fundamental questions will be asked software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. So these are some of the services that you need to learn about. Okay. Some examples of those services, what is their definitions? Okay. So these type of questions are important. These type of topics are important. Similarly, there is hybrid model of cloud. Okay there is what is hybrid model some uh, infrastructure is on cloud some infrastructure is is in the on premises okay so uh, this this is one of the things that you, you need to understand about but this is sas these three are very important topics for your cloud fundamental journey i hope these all the questions that i have discussed here are clear to you if you want any such videos for any specific company and any specific sections you can always write in the comment section i will be happy to make these videos to you okay and if you are preparing for cognizant exam so as i have told you earlier in this video so on our top mid page of code bashers what we have we have cognizant preparation material wherein we have actual questions for every section previously asked questions for every section that are getting asked in the exam whether it is coding sql web development or whether it is the mcqs for cloud fundamentals python java or c hash so if you are preparing and you think that this material can help you the links are in the description box do check them out thank you for watching this video do hit that like and subscribe button before closing this video